Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum my brothers and sisters I trust you're all in good health inshallah and I hope you're praying your salahs as well as reading the Quran and Hadith for guidance and to educate yourself If you're watching this video and it's salah time please pause it and go pray Please check out the description section of this video to get my new dawah clothing line and apparel and to support the channel I was sent a clip by a channel member of a very special revert story about a well-known drill rapper and comedian who goes by the name of Castillo this brother has Dominican Christian roots and is quite popular amongst the urban youth in the UK. He does a lot of shock value comedy online and is not a stranger to going viral and is mostly quite positive in his general outlook. I'll be honest, from the way brother Castello presents himself online, I did not know he accepted Islam as he is known to speak about subjects that are quite X-rated and uses profanity regularly. I'm not here to judge, I'm just happy that he is a Muslim and I hope that his faith will get stronger as he grows and he will be a role model for those that follow him inshallah. If you would like me to react to any of your suggested videos please become a channel member via the join button on my channel let's take a look at the clip i converted to islam at 23 mm. and i never took it seriously mm. and why i kept on doing when i could the reason i converted to islam is when i was 23 is because i was going for a mad time and i was losing my mind mm. i thought i was going insane mm. so then i kept on walking around and every every time i go link a girl and i'd go to certain train stations shepherd's bush brixton mm. you go to stratford you go to different things and every time i go to these stations i kept on running into black muslims mm. yeah now i'm a black person yeah mm. and i'll be real i won't listen to no messages unless it's most most times it come from a black person yeah, yeah it's like when people tell you like the youth and the youth don't listen to people that don't listen that don't look like them obviously mm -hmm. now that i'm older i understand that advice can come from different places mm -hmm. but my thing was what i was searching for and i'd see black brothers muslims and i'd look at them i'd be like i need to ask you something why are you happy i'm like well, why are you so happy like mm -hmm. why why do you feel fulfilled like you're just here outside the station you're still why are you happy mm -hmm. and then they told me they said it's allah it's my religion it's it's it's, it's islam it's, it keeps me strong or whatever mm -hmm. and i said how though because I used to have like a weird relationship with God in the sense where I used to be angry. So I'm like, fuck that. Do you know what I mean? I used to hate everybody and hate everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, fuck all of that, man. Nothing's real. You get me? It's like, what are you on about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then when they tell me, they'd be like, nah, man, I feel peace because of that. And every single one I'd meet would be on that same kind of vibe. Every single one. Mm -hmm. And then one day I must have gone to, one day a girl came to my house and then she left and went to the train station, dropped to the train station, the Uber. And I looked at the, the, the Uber driver and I said to him, I said, are you Muslim? And he said, yeah. And I said, why? And he said, oh, because then he told me why he was a, he was a, uh, I forgot where he was from. I'm not sure. I think he's from Afghanistan. Hmm. And then he said, um, he said, God makes him feel complete and all this stuff. And I said, and by this time it'd been like weeks and months. We've seen black Muslims outside thing. Hmm. So I said, can you take me to the mosque? So he took me to a mosque in West Elan. And then I went there and that's when I converted. Hmm. Yeah. But then. And in that moment, I felt so much at peace. I leave there and I see all my, I see Somali brothers, I see white people, black people, Asian people, all Muslim people and all that stuff embracing me. And I felt loved. That's the first time I felt I like ask acceptance. You, that, did you feel the love and acceptance? Yeah, I felt acceptance yeah. and I loved it. Mm -hmm. But then obviously through life circumstances, I lost that and I just wouldn't take it seriously. But then in the past few months, every so often I keep on thanking God for some reason. I keep on saying, thank God, thank you God, thank you God. Because of the social media journey, it's changed bro, my life. I was going to so, say, you've got a lot to be thankful for. Of course. Bro. Carry so on, I say thank on. you. So I say mm. thank you, mm. thank you, thank you. I'm thinking, I don't know who I'm thanking. But I'm saying thank you, thank you, thank you, God. So then, then I just had to say to myself, you know what? Stop, like, stop, stop trying to pretend to yourself that you don't feel God. You know you're feeling it because you're lying to yourself if you, you keep on, you keep on trying to pretend like the, the blessings is all you, mm. but it ain't you. Mm. Yeah. And that's when I had to deep it, and I said to myself, you know what? Like when it comes to Islam and all that stuff, I got to take that serious. Mm. I got to take that serious because I'll be honest with you. See, I'll talk about suicide and I talk about all these different things, it's because I feel mm. like I'm alone. Mm. But now I don't feel alone because now I feel like there's God. Mm. Now I feel there's God there. Mm. So now I feel, now I feel like I'm walking with a path. Now I feel like I've yeah. got something with me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's why religion now, I'm not, I'm not going to be on some super preachy thing, but just for my own sake, I just feel like I'm now just aligned. Mashallah, what a great story. It was amazing to hear that becoming Muslim helped Brother Castello overcome his depression and anger issues and to find peace of mind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to keep his mind at ease and bestow more blessings upon him. I also like how he described how Muslims gave him dawah by being shining examples of consistency and faith. 
by being present at train stations in London and allowing people to see them as living examples of how Islam worked miracles in their lives. Alhamdulillah. It was great to hear the acceptance and love Brother Castello felt from his fellow Muslims at the mosque after taking his shahada and the diversity of Islam he described, which is unrivaled in my opinion. For example, in religions like Hinduism, Judaism, Sikhism, Buddhism, etc., consist mostly of the same type of specific people that practice those faiths. But Islam appeals to people of all races and this diversity is also encouraged in the Quran. Subhanallah. We should make dua that Allah SWT guide Brother Castello as the music he is still involved in at this current time is not very Islamic at all. I do not wish to criticise or police him because I don't want to turn him away from Allah SWT. We all have things in our lives we need to change in order to be more in tune with God and we should concentrate on correcting our own mistakes and seeking forgiveness for our own sins before we judge others. Well, at the same time being supportive of fellow Muslims rather than condemning them. Brother Castello is a strong communicator and has mastered the art of humour. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him more hadith. I believe if he started to give dawah online he would influence so many youths positively. It would be a beautiful thing to witness inshallah. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and turn on notifications as I'll be posting new content daily. Jazakallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah